Okay. Yeah, welcome to another time of catfish lectures. Uh, today, this Sunday morning, um, I am here with my people. We are changing water, and um, I felt that it would be uh, another opportunity for me to talk to somebody out there, a catfish farmer who has been laboring and. Um, you're having slow growth. Your fishes are growing slowly, very slowly. It's, it's quite disheartening for farmers. And um, most of the times, you feel like giving up. Well, um, I've talked about this a couple of times and um, talked about this slow growth thing a couple of times. And I feel like I should be talking about it over and over, at least to encourage farmers at this time. And... One of the major reasons for this slow growth is actually uh, because of the the feeds. I've been saying this over and over also. The feeds these days are very, very bad. You know, um, you use them to feed your fishes and um, it's like um, it's not working on them at all. Especially the local feeds. The foreign feeds are okay, but who can afford them? A bag of foreign feed now, the cheapest, is about 63,000. That's uh, talking about uh, Alakwa. Who can afford that now? So, it's, it's actually very disheartening. So, if you're out there listening to me today and um, your fishes are growing quite slowly, you are not alone. Mine are also growing slowly, and this trend has been on for a while now because the the content of the feed, the nutrients and all that, the protein and all that are very weak, very weak now. So it's not like before, say about um, four or five years ago when you stock fishes from um, fingerling, post fingerling stage, you are ready to harvest table size fishes um, in about four months, four months, two weeks, sometimes maximum five months, depending on when you stock your fishes. If you stock them at fingerling stage, but if you stock fishes at um, juvenile stage a few years back, with the kind of good feed we had, you do for about four months, you know, you are selling big fishes. However, the idea of today's um, lecture is just to encourage you, if you are out there and you are a farmer, don't give up. Just keep managing what you have. The only thing is, right now you know that the time is going to be longer. Instead of four months, two weeks, you are going to be doing for like six months or seven months. Depending on uh, depending on what size you you actually um, you know stock your fishes. If you stock your fishes at fingerling stages, you are going to be doing definitely for six months with the kind of feed we have now, local feed we have now. Sometimes several months. If you stock at uh, juvenile stages or post juvenile, you might have five months or, or so thereabout. You know, you just try. Uh, because of the duration, the long period of time before we harvest, um, it's advisable for you to stock uh, smaller sizes that you used to stock before. And then, um, you know, um, just go ahead and take time, since the few fishes you stock will not cost a lot. Take your time, and uh, after six months or so, you harvest. But it will be, be better if you can stock at intervals you stock uh, now after one month you stock another set of maybe 500 300 1000 like that so you close up the gap you know i've been saying this you close up the gap for one month each few fishes but you're selling big fishes rather than stock 5000 10000 and it's taking you seven months and you feed and feed and feed everyone you break down on the way that won't be good at all. So, I think that's that's what it is. Right now, there's nothing we can do. 
you know, if the situation is bad, um, the people producing the feed, they are, they are struggling also, you know, the local producers of the feed, that's what it is, you know, the fish business, the, the industry is tough, it's not like it's just the fish business, every industry, every business is tough now, but this is what we have also in the catfish farming business. Uh, so this is as much as I can take today. Um, I hope it, uh, I've encouraged somebody and um, put you on the right path, strengthen you. Uh, until next time, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get things like this when they come. My name is Mr. Greg. Bye for now.